morning, everybody. How's everyone doing on this Christmas morning? I hope everybody had a good morning and got the presents that you deserved. Um, I'm just on here for a couple minutes to show my identity theft, my identity change. I am Chris Wood, and I am a three and a half year identity theft skull split, brain injury, body mutilation, identity theft, victim, revenge retaliation through Lennox and Annington, Ontario Provincial Police, through Harvard One inmate sex offender, Billy Woldridge, one known as Billy Woldridge, 149 Center Street North, now bald, glasses, goatee, did have a goatee, approximately 73 years old Blair Hardy Tyler Lake Jason two step Van Alstein Ray Ray his roommate Sam Michelle Irish Holly Carlisle Bucktooth Bob Robert Berry Isaac Curtis his girlfriend Sarah a woman on the corner of Center and Thomas Street. She has reddish blondish hair. She's obese. It is a crack shack. These people are all using remote neuro monitoring on me. It's been gotten it's been I've had it used on me now for three and a half years. Numbing me down, injure me internally. I've been kidnapped, sex assaulted, had my blood and piss stolen falsely arrested to get my pictures prints signatures and everything else for forgeries framings frauds and my identity theft against me kidnapping 24 hours after asking for help with this surrounded hands on guns medical blacklisting medical treatment refusals medical discriminations by criminally negligent co-committing hell's angels bandito doctors who are involved in aiding Billy Woldridge, Blair Hardy, Tyler Lake, and Jason Van Alstyne in this crime against me. They are guilty. Blair Hardy, Billy Woldridge is guilty of stalking my mother and guilty of causing her death in December 20th, 2020. Back in 2019, I was shot in my right ear by ex-OPP chief by something. After that, the problem started. The lies, the cover-ups, the time buying arrest refusals, stalking, I have illegal prisoner tracking on me, and I have the remote neuro monitoring on me, and this is how I am being mentally fucked up, and this is how I am going through my identity theft and changes. I have no feeling or stimulation in my head anymore, and I haven't for approximately three months from my skull being split and being having shit pumped through me constantly, the ones doing this to me while they are using remote neuro monitoring on me their piss and their shit is going through my body and it is decaying me from the inside out this could all be 100 percent proven as well billy woldridge was told that i and him were switched at birth i am 50 years old he is approximately 72 73 years old he's a stalker he's highly psychotic he's highly delusional obviously he's obsessed he's is a sex offender and he is highly dangerous and this is why opp are harboring him and protecting him because of this crime against me this is a revenge retaliation crime and this is about framing me as this piece of shit opp you are now not only guilty of murdering my mother through these bastards you are guilty of attempted murder on me and murdering the entire wood bloodline for your revenge retaliation because you are child stalking fuckers you fuck children you kidnap you buy sell people you are human traffickers human sex trade slavery traffickers this is how you frame this is how you traffic and this is how you are killing your victims with lots of help you have a justice of the peace here to obstruct you have other police they hear that you can use to aid in your crimes using your badges positions credentials where they cannot question your orders i.e spencer mills 
badge number 14716, ex-chief or commander, year 2019, is a pedophile, sex slavery trafficker, staff sergeant, years 2019 and 2021, kidnapping and sodomy sex assault with Billy, Billy Wooldridge against me, Shannon Cork, Robert Ken fuck, can kill, can get away with it, money badge family, town council Lucas, and Robert Kane. Stacy, a mental health worker, was Daily Tea Company here in Napanee, now Kingston, and one Shelly Hafner or Huffner. She is mental health and OPP. They are human traffickers. Shelly Hafner has to still answer for my kidnapping about her bullshit incompetency done to steal my blood and piss and also in an attempt to get me kept in hopes that I would not be talking about what I'm talking about, showing what I'm showing and proving what I've been proving for three and a half years against me. Anybody thinks that identity thefts cannot happen, I am 100% proof that they can and do. No matter how much you can prove crimes against you in Napanee, it will do no good. Once OPP and Stacy cast their lies to their girlfriend, to her girlfriend, Tatiana V, to medically blacklist you, you will have no chance of saving your life in any way, shape, or form. Trust me, I know this. I spoke police crimes, so I've been lobotomized. I've been right, blur, right brain completely fucked up. And now they're going after my left side to completely fuck me up. I've been showing and proving my deformings. I've been showing and proving the changes happening to me. This is being done slowly while I am being mentally fucked up internally. And there is not a damn thing I can do about this. And how I am being physically changed is by them using the r &M on me and having their piss and their shit. Their feces and their urine goes through my fucking body and is decaying me. But it's also internally changing my fucking DNA. And while they're broadcasting through me, it is changing my identity while numbing me down to dumb me down through fucking radiation and EMFs. And that's exactly how they gave my mother tumors and cancer to kill her and it was done with intent premeditated right spencer mills right stacy right blair hardy right bill woldridge you fucking goof little coward cock sucking piece of shit low life you're lucky that you suck you're lucky that you're hell's angels and that you are a co-fucking pedophile and that you suck off opp for protection because that's exactly what you do. You're committing homicide for them, knowing that you're a dangerous sex offender and how fucking delusional you are. You are a co-drug trafficker. Blair Hardy is a drug glacer, and he is guilty of rapes. He is guilty of homicides. He is guilty with Jason Van Alstyne of being involved with the murder of Jack Clark, and it was done through OPP as well. They were also using remote neuro monitoring on him, and they are the ones that laced the drugs around Napanee for homicides, and I will not be proven wrong. Conveniently, Spencer Mills allegedly left to go to Aurelia now, so anybody in Aurelia, be very careful. You hear the name Spencer Mills, badge number 14716. Be very careful. He is a fucking serial killer cop. He is a human trafficker. He commits his crimes and then he transfers. That's what he's about. And that's how OPP get away with their lawsuits. This is how they get away with their crimes. And this is how they are successfully committing their crimes as well. Using fucking inmates, psych ward patients drug addicts that they feed drugs to while high and using R and M on their victims to fucking completely and totally change them physically, mentally, for psychotic pieces of shit. So I can be taken as Billy Wildred. Yes, I have illegal prisoner tracking on me from OPP and I have no criminal record or history, except for when I was falsely charged by OPP to give me that record in an attempt to justify the crimes that they are getting away with 
and also so I would not be taken serious so they could try to discredit me about the crimes taking place against me as well, and by whom, how, and why. And this is how it's being done. It's been in use since the 60s and nobody is aware of it and that benefits OPP and the bastards around here using it on me. So, after three years, congratulations to Billy Waldridge, Blair Hardy, Tyler Lake, and Jason Van Alstyne. Not only are you getting away with killing my mother in 2020, but you're getting away with my identity theft and completely and physically fucking changing me, deforming me, mentally fucking me up in hopes that I forget about this so I cannot bring lawsuits against OPP, so I cannot bring criminal civil lawsuits and arresting that you all fucking deserve. If anybody was to go to 149 Center Street North and grab Billy Woldridge and kick the shit out of him, Obviously, everybody would see the resemblances between he and I now, and we are no fucking relation in any way, shape, or form. And if I share any DNA or anything else with any Blair Hardy, with any one Billy Waldridge, or one Tyler Lake, or one Jason Van Alstyne, or anybody else involved, you're going to be more seriously fucked than what you realize, you pieces of shit, fucking terrorist garbage, using your badges, positions, your credentials, your lies, your false guys of law to get away, while sitting on your ass, refusing to arrest anybody because of your involvement, and protecting the shit out of them, which protects you, of course, too. Tyler Lake and Holly Carlisle, you are also guilty of seriously injuring my dog, Runt. And if anything happens to him, you will be guilty of killing him as well, like Billy Woldridge did my other dog, Chipper. Your animal abusers, your animal killers, you're guilty of identity thefts, financial thefts, and frauds. Completely and totally deforming and changing fucking people's identities for your benefit, you pieces of fucking shit garbage through delusional cocksuckers named Billy Wolders, Blair Hardy, Tyler Lake, all through tech that nobody knows about. I'm 50 years old and I'm looking like fucking Tyler Lake, who is what, 30? I'm looking like Jason Van Alstyne sometimes, who is what, 40, 45? And then there's Blair Hardy, the piece of shit who is a little cocksucking fucking coward goof bitch boy and boyfriend to Spencer Mills. And he is approximately 65 years old, fucking junkie drug dealing piece of garbage. And then there is one Billy Waldridge, 149 Center Street, North Hells Angels, Ontario chapter captain. One at Harvard sex offending piece of shit dangerous offender who is highly delusional and high, highly psychotic. He also thinks that he's Harry Potter as well. So the guy is very fucked up in the head. Anyway, I'm not on here to curse and swear. I just want everybody to know and see that my identity theft is done. And for anybody that thinks that this cannot happen, I am 100% proof that it does. So beware of this and be careful. I am going to be disappearing soon as one of these pieces of shit and OPP are the ones behind this. This is why they will not arrest anybody besides that they work for Blair Hardy, Billy Woldridge, Tyler Lake, and Jason Van Alstyne. They cannot touch him. Be safe, everybody. And this is 100% fucking true in every way, shape, or form. I have no reason to lie about anything. And if anybody can see, you can obviously tell the, day, the, the damages and changes to me, especially in my fucking skull. That's where my skull's been split. And I'm getting air pumped through my head right fucking now as I'm doing this. So, 
my identity theft is done. After three and a half years, you finally did it, Hardy, Waldridge, Blake, and Van Alstein, you pieces of fucking garbage. In one way or another, you will pay an answer for this. Just because you suck OPP dick don't mean fuck all, boys. You're going to pay for this. I'm not a fucking puppet or a pawn that you can play games with, you fucking bastards. So remember, take this into consideration. Anybody that has any dealings with OPP, fight it because they're guilty of not only my identity theft, they're guilty of murdered and missing. They are guilty of human trafficking, kidnapping, sodomy, sex assault, getting me medically blacklisted to assure this happens to me, and a whole lot of other crimes. I am Chris Wood, and I'm an identity theft victim for revenge retaliation on me through OPP, through one Dale H., through one Ray Ray, through one Sam, through one Holly Carlisle, Michelle Irish, Blair Hardy, Tyler Lake, Jason Van Alstein, and Bill Waldridge, compliments of OPP. So, Merry Christmas to me. I'm an identity theft victim, and you're guilty of murdering the entire wood bloodline through this to me, you fucking cockroach little bastards. You will pay for this, Lake. You will pay for this, Hardy. You will pay for this, Waldridge. And you will pay for this, Van Alstein, you fucking goof little crackhead junkie pieces of shit. Merry Christmas, everybody. I'm sorry for the swearing, but I'm an identity theft victim, and there is nothing, nothing I can do about this because it's for OPP, Billy Waldridge, Blair Hardy, Tyler Lake, and Jason Van Alstein, who are guilty of murder. Napanee is the easiest town to get away with homicide. You align yourself with OPP. You'll have the doctors here to protect you and aid in covering crimes. You'll have a justice of the peace to help aid in cover crimes. You will have your legal rights, medical rights, human rights taken. You will not be able to get lawyers, and they know it because no lawyer around here will touch them. They know how dangerous OPP is and what would happen to them or their families. So be safe, everybody. Watch yourselves, watch your children, watch your finances. After three and a half years of being a revenge retaliation victim, this is done to me in one way or another. Everybody involved, you will pay for this, you pieces of fucking garbage. And don't think you are untouchable and unarrestable, you human trafficking fucking scum.